All right. So I guess we don't have time. So let me give you homework. And let's just simulate one thing. Uh, remove that cube. Things get slower. And I can't really show you. I'll just create, I'll tear apart the, the polygon surface. Basically, let me create a new scene. Screw that thing. Let me create a new scene, emitter, and particle, create emitter. Six hundred, and then it will be directional, rate twenty. You go spread zero, speed fifty. Very good. Now direction, I'll change the direction. And I'll put the okay, I'll put the cube here. Scale it up, move it up a little bit. For the cube add divisions, let's say eight, let's say six. Okay, make it into end cloth quickly and mesh, create end cloth, convert that end cloth into metal. And then pressure, pressure dumping one. Uh, let's see. Goes through. Nucleus, enable, use plane. Sits down there, good. Okay, let me, let me set the uh, end solver, initial state set from current. So it sits there on the... Okay. Huh? Yeah, you're right. Absolutely right. You add mass. Now they dented better. They're going to dent it better. Let's add more mass. 100. Boom. Awesome. Now the, let's go to nucleus and go at the plane friction, right? You have a use plane and it got cranked all the way up. And even st stickiness. Zero bounce. Ah, huh? now it stays there. All right, so now they tweak it a little bit, just the uh, end cloud shape, go pressure, okay, dumping, maybe dump here too. And then uh, dynamic settings, dynamic properties. No, not the maps. Uh, dynamic properties, uh, we adjust, uh, what's that? The restitution angle, so it uh, doesn't, doesn't go back. So if you put 360, they want to go back all the way like a rubber. All right, let's shoot it again. Awesome. Now, let's tear it apart. How do we do that? You already know. Select, select vertices. And then, I mean, this, this is going to be very, you know, square. Because, but in, when you create geometry, you cut it, you cut it the way you want it to fall, fall apart. Fall apart. So this is primitive. And for visualization purposes only. Control shift. Bunch of vertices. The bullets go fly through and tear that thing apart. Okay. Now, and constrain, terrible surface. Okay, let's see a second. Let me spray it a little. So, direction. Direction here. Key it. Direction, key that thing. Key select on zero. And then 200, we don't have much time. Frame 200. Move it here, frame 100, move it here. It 
see it start to fall apart. But we need we need some more. So I'll so uh huh. I'll delete that Windows Outliner. I'll delete that constraint. I'll make a new one. Vertex. My gun is here. Okay, and mesh, and constraint, turbo surface, and then the strength, let's make it, you see the, in the dynamic constraint right here, you have a strength, so I'll make it 10. Okay, seems like working. Now I'll give it some more speed, less rate, speed, where's my speed, speed, speed. And 100. And then some more mass to the particles, shape, particle shape. Let's see. Bang. Now it's better. All right. Now, another thing we want to do, let's put another cube in a, inside. And let's say that's how we create the fire. And that thing will just collide. with the particle, and we'll emit fire or, okay, fine, line, let's create another particle set, and particle create, okay, yeah, create a meter, and now I'll delete that emitter, and I'll keep it particle two, dynamic relationships, And that's particle emitters will emit from the same emitter, will emit two sets of particles. And that particle will die in collision and will emit particles that will use to uh, create fire. So the first set of particles will, will kill them quickly, the particle which we call bullets. Bullets, the ones that destroy our car, our cube, those are the bullets. So they will just die quickly and we'll forget about them. Random range, let's see. Too slow, 0.5, 0.6. 10, that's good. And then another particles, those are uh, spark generators. And then what happens to them? Okay, they've been emitted too. What happens to them? We'll put a plan here and we'll make them collide. So those particles make, par okay, uh, let's move it up a little. So now basically we don't really need the ground plane. Okay, we can keep it up a bit and then, let's see, I, didn't, I don't think we have, okay, spark gen, nucleus, I don't think we need to use plane and then We'll make that passive collider, 
and mesh create passive collider. And of course, it will collide to the mesh too. So what do they do? They, uh, I was just explaining the, the set number two. They will collide. So let's disable. Let's hide the our bullet particles, our bullets. Yeah. And then we'll keep our spark gen. And then we go to collision event editor. And we have our spark gen object. And what it does, original particle dies. Event type, remember I was explaining yesterday? Event type, it emits number of particles. Let's say one. This type is four. OK, and we will make five from it. We'll forget about sparks right now. We did sparks yesterday, so screw that. OK, create event. Close. Let's see what's going on. OK, they kind of generate something. Let's see. This is sparks. This is particle. OK, awesome. Those particle. Those particles gonna gonna generate uh, fire inside the container, so the life the life should be very very short. So that means 0 0.5 to 0 0.1. Let's see how long it leave. They just should spark and and you know make that fire. Good. Okay. Let's put. Now let's cheat. We don't want to create the fire from the beginning from the you know, from the scratch. So we just go to dynamics fluid. Uh, let me save that. Kill the cube. All right, and then fluids, we get fluid example. And we'll say, all right, let's do, oh, turbulent flame, perfect. Import that thing. OK, here's my cube. Oh, the scale is small, OK. Remo remove that. We don't need no torus, no emitters. Don't need that camera. All we need is that cube. OK. Move it up. The thing is we're going to scale it up, uh, the size. So I guess it's going to change. And now we select that cube, and then we select the particles. Our last particles, that's one, that one. That's, a, that's the particles that created dur uh, during collision event. Let's make them, uh, let's call them. First of all, we'll, we don't want them to be visible. So for now, we'll make them point. So particle shape, uh, what is that, shading? And we make them points. And now we select those particles. We select the cube. So like our, our container, fluid container, we go to fluid, uh, whatever it is, and then add emit from object. So right now we'll have our fluids emitted from particles. And then we'll, I'll adjust the density and particle, fluid emitter. I'll give it some density, like. 10 voxels maybe, and then heat like 20, and then fuel 40. Let's see what happens. Yeah, we have some fire. See that white thing? Yeah. The whole thing to go faster. Oh, 10 minutes. All right. Let's redo it again and just scale it up. OK, let's, let's calculate. Let's make our cache work. So let's cache that thing, cache the end cloth. So uh, we don't overload the system. We do step by step, destroy the car. So right now, select that, go to, uh, OK, it's in dynamics. We go to uh, end cache, create new cache. How long this thing was going on for? 